Hey, welcome back. So in the previous three videos, we saw how to run our jobs on Dataproc cluster. But as I have been repeating all throughout those videos that we are using the same cluster to run our jobs. Why? Because our data which we stored is stored on the machines itself. So if we delete the cluster, we would lose all of our data. So if you remember our example, in our example, we are writing one hive table. So a hive table has two components. One, the data, which is stored on the HDFS. And the second is the metadata about the table, which is stored in the hive meta store. So currently in our current cluster, both of these things, which is HDFS and hive meta store are running on the cluster. So if we delete our cluster, we will lose both our data and metadata. So what we will do is that we will delete my first cluster and we will create one more cluster in place of it. But since our data was residing on the cluster, on the cluster VMs, we will see that uh, we do not have that data anymore. So we'll create a cluster by the name of my second cluster and we will have the similar configuration where we'll have two masters and we will have the Spark version 2.4 but we will see that when we run the same query of Hive which we ran last time where we were querying the random underscore numbers table we will see that we do not have that table anymore on the Hive cluster. So as you can see, uh, I have triggered the creation of the second cluster. The first one is getting deleted. The second one is getting is, is in provisioning state. Uh, so I will come back when my second cluster is in running state. Now my cluster is in running state. So what I'll do is that I'll go and run a job on this cluster just to verify that I do not have the random numbers table anymore because that table resided the table's metadata and table's data, the actual data resided on the VM mach cluster machines themselves, cluster VMs themselves. And when I deleted my cluster, I irreversibly deleted the metadata as well as the data. So I will say query hive after deletion. I will say US central one, my second cluster, that will be hive. Query text, I will say select star from a random numbers it will say continue on failure yes i don't need that but yeah you should so i have submitted my job and you would see that it will say that the table no longer exists or the table does not exist uh, because this cluster is unaware of existence of the table so yeah rightfully so we get table not found random numbers so we have irreversibly deleted the data that we have created, which is quite a big bummer. So this is where the problem lies. Now, if I have to preserve my data, I'll have to keep my cluster running 24 seven. And that's not how cloud economics work. We are paying per use in the cloud. We have liberty to pay only when we are using the resources. But in my current architecture, where my data is stored on the cluster, I'll have to keep my cluster on, always on 24 seven, and I'll have to pay 24 seven for all those machines which are running. So what can be done? Well, that's the topic for the next section where we will be doing compute and storage segregation. We will be separating compute and storage and after which we will be able to delete the cluster. So as we discussed, there are two components. One is a Hive meta store. The other one is HDFS. So just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek, a little bit of preview into the next section, we will be replacing the HDFS by GCS, which is Google Cloud Storage. And we will be replacing the Hive meta store by an externally running Hive meta store using Cloud SQL. So in the next section, we will be covering this. So I'll see you guys in the next video.